Hello, welcome to the channel. It is the 1st of May, 2nd of May? 1st of May, and it has been an, an, an unbelievably warm day today. However, if you look at my shoulders, I've been outside the van for about 30 seconds and I'm soaked. Things were just starting to get good and they've gone rubbish again. Hopefully these showers stop soon and the sun comes back out. But today, do something a little different. I'm not out in the van. Well, I am out in the van, but I'm on my drive. I'm not staying out in the van. I want to talk today about my top five van life essentials. There will be one thing included in this that I preach every time I make a video about vans. And I'm sure you'll know when it comes to it, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that subject, as I've said it times four so this will be a good little video for anyone who's new to van life or maybe you're getting your van ready for this summer which is exactly what i'm doing right now and might just give you a reminder of a few things that you forgot to put in or that you need to go out and buy so number one in my van life essentials is one of these things well one of these sort of things so this is a knocko boost it's a jump starter there's loads of other ones out there on the market they're brilliant little things fortunately having an ex-british gas kelly maxi i've got an isolator on my battery so i don't actually need one of these but when i had a battery problem in my work van i used it in that and it got me home when i otherwise would have been waiting for ages for someone to come so what this does it hooks up to your battery on your van you press the power button press the power button and then that's it now stick it on your battery start your engine and your van runs so if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere that's all you need there's loads of different other branded ones you can get so have a look they're not expensive i know ld or little do a version and it's pretty much the same sort of thing also the good bit about these is they double up as a power bank so if you are stuck in the middle of nowhere and you run out of phone battery you've also got a power pack that's number five on my list a power black like power bank slash jump start hybrid machine box thing number two on the list i don't know why i did that that's one number two on the list is the thing i always go on about a toilet obviously i've got my little porta potty underneath my bed but yeah a toilet is one thing i'll preach forever if you're in a van Obviously, if you're in a really small van, fair enough. But if you've got space for a toilet, even just a bin bag and a bucket, that's all you need. Honestly, for me, it's an essential. I've got pretty decent bowels, but <laughs> every now and again, have a curry on a Friday night, you wake up and you want the toilet. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't want to be looking for one. You want one that's nice and handy. Get yourselves a toilet if you don't already have one. So third up on my list is first aid kit with everything you're gonna need now this one's seen better days as you can see it doesn't really zip up but I have got a nice new blue one to match the van so I'm gonna put all my stuff in there now see what we got bite and sting cream that's pretty important hopefully but genuinely if there's one thing I want to happen this year it's get bitten by a load of insects because I'm out in the van enjoying life in the Sun that's the plan uh, loads of plasters gloves all that sort of stuff one of these pollinase tablets i am allergic to pollen because i am weak and i am also allergic to nuts because i am weak so plenty of those in there for me i don't know why but i've got a compass in my first aid kit some hand gel never know when covid's going to come back do you yeah paracetamol wipes plasters all that sort of stuff another big essential first aid kit number four on my list one of these bad boys if you haven't heard about the ridge monkey then this is going to blow your mind once again same as the jump starter there's different brands on the market you can get other ones um i've used these for years i do a bit of carp fishing as well and for the last six seven years i've used ridge monkey they're brilliant you get what you pay for to most people it looks like a pan fair enough this one is the combi one comes apart you get all little spatulas and stuff as well and the handles also pop off so it packs down a bit smaller these things do everything you'd look at it and think yeah it's just a little frying pan 
but I've done toasties, sausage rolls, I've cooked chips, sausages, you can do curries in them. They're, honestly, I don't know why, but they just seem to cook everything. I haven't found a dish yet that you can't cook in a Ridge Monkey. Um, like I say, it's pretty much just a frying pan, but it's got a lid on it, so you can put like curries and stuff in it and warm them through like you would normally. I, I, I don't know, but they work. They're pretty cheap, and they're a brilliant bit of kit. 95% of the stuff I cook in the van is done in a Ridge Monkey. This rain is really doing my head in. Hopefully, you can't hear it too easily because it's very loud at the minute. If you haven't got a Ridge Monkey or something like this that does the same sort of thing, definitely go and check them out. Like I say, I'll do 95% of my cooking in the van in one of these. I think they're only about 25 quid and they're bulletproof. Ow. They're also knuckle proof. And now we are on to the number one, my top, top essential thing for van life. Positivity and keep an open mind. Now you might be thinking, what are you on about, you weirdo? That's not an essential, but it is. Because things aren't always gonna go the way you expect them to go. I've had many times where I thought, wow, this, this car park's perfect. I wanna go to this area. This car park looks amazing. All the reviews are fantastic. And I've pulled up, no overnight parking. Or there's a barrier or it just does not look like the sort of place you want to stay. And with van life, you've got to keep that positivity or you're not going to enjoy it. Fact. When I was in Scotland on the NC500, I pulled onto a park up and I thought, yeah, this is going to be perfect for the night. Looked at my phone, I was like, oh, it's only half three. I can keep driving for a bit, bit longer, find somewhere better. I was then driving for another three hours and checked out four or five more car parks and none of them seemed suitable for me. I got very stressed and that day became less enjoyable the more stressed that I got. Eventually I found a little park up and to be honest I wasn't 100% happy with it but it was dark when I got there so I just got in the back, made some food, chilled out and went to sleep and when I woke up the next morning it was amazing. I was right by the coast literally 10 meters out the back door of the van it was a cliff edge, the sea, it was lovely. I was there on my own all night, nice and cozy, and it ended up being one of the best park ups I had the whole time. So, like I say, things aren't always gonna go to your exact plan. So, if you don't keep positive, if you don't stay open-minded, it's not gonna be as enjoyable as van life can be. I've done my first year of it now, and I absolutely love it. So much coming up this year. I've got so much planned, loads of shows, loads of camp ups, and even a bit of international travel in the van and little plane trips that I've got planned towards the end of the year. Hopefully that all goes as planned. Last year, I wanted to take the van to Europe over the winter. If things didn't quite work out. Obviously, I could have not stayed positive. And to be honest with you, for a few days, I wasn't very positive about it. I thought I wanna go and it just wasn't right at that time. So I made the hard choice to not go, but now I'm happy that I made that choice because I've got another six, seven months of planning now, sorting it out, saving up, so I can make that the best trip possible. So yeah, positivity, open-mindedness, jump starter, first aid kit, toilet, and Ridge Monkey type cooking pan. They're random things, really random things, but for me, they're five big, big essentials that everyone should be thinking about if they have a camper van, like I say, number one, positivity, open-mindedness, go out there, enjoy yourself. Not everything has to be a massive trip. You don't have to go hundreds of miles to enjoy yourself. I drive 10 minutes down the road, not even that sometimes, have a night in the van and all my troubles go away. Just wanna say thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel so far. Very, very close to 1,000 subscribers. In my last video, I did say when I get to 1,000 subs, I'm gonna do a 1K q a so if you guys have any questions for me can be van related can be total randomness whatever you want i've had some weird questions come through and i've had some really cool questions come through so if you want anything answer if you want anything answering drop it in the comments and i'll make sure to get that done when we hit 1k thank you for all the support it's been amazing and things are only going to get better thank you very much for watching i hope this has helped a few people out and i hope maybe it's 
got some people excited, even though it's chucking it down right now in this video. Got you excited for the summer and all the trips that you've got planned. I'm going to a load of shows this year. We've got Van Life Fest, uh, Camper Jam, Urban Van Fest. That's the first for this one. I'll be in the van exhibit at that show. Hopefully Van Life Eats and Van Life and Overlander Celebration. Probably a couple more that I can't think of off the top of my head. So if you're going to any of them, let me know as well. And come and say hi when you're there. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.